Hello and welcome to this video on dominant seventh chords and root position. At this point, if you've not watched the previous video on major triads, I encourage you to watch that video now as it will help you understand the following material. When we looked at triads, we saw that all triads are built from the root using a root, a third, and a fifth. Seventh chords are similar. They have a root, a third, and a fifth but they also introduce a note that is a seventh above the root as well. Dominant seventh chords are very similar to major triads. Just like a major triad, it includes a root, a note that is a major third above that root, and a note that is a perfect fifth above that root. However, a dominant seventh chord also specifically has a note that is a minor seventh up from the root. A dominant seventh chord sounds like this. Let's take a look at an example. The following is an example of a C dominant seventh chord. You can tell again that this chord is in root position as all the notes are stacked in thirds, creating that snowman shape. All the notes will either be on lines or on spaces when it is in root position. Root position means that the root is the lowest note, so it makes sense that when we look at this chord that the C is the bottom note. If we begin to build up from the C, we can build up a major third to the E and build up a perfect fifth to the G, just like a major triad. However, to make it a dominant seventh chord, we have to build up a minor seventh from the root, which would be a B flat. Together, these four notes make a C dominant seventh chord. Our next example is an E flat dominant seventh chord. If we start from the root, which is an E flat, and because we're in root position, that is the lowest note, we can build up a major third to the G, and we can also build up a perfect fifth from the E flat to the B flat, which would, again would be our major triad. However, to make it a dominant seventh chord, we build up from the root a minor seventh, and in this case, that would be a D flat. Again, together, these four notes will make our dominant seventh chord. <laughs> 